They're creepy. They're crawling. They freak out your little sister. And, more likely than not, they are completely harmless. What are we talking about? It's that little buddy of yours lurking near the ceiling in your garage. That's right, Brainiacs. We are talking about spiders, specifically why there is this widespread irrational fear of them that many of us have. You all know what I'm talking about. It's that blood-curdling scream you hear while you're downstairs reading your book, all because your mom saw a spider in the bathroom. So, sit tight, Brainiacs, because we are going to dissect this fear and talk about why so many people have it. If the thought of eight eyes creeps you out, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so you can have all the facts you need to get over your fear. Let's start off with exactly what a fear of spiders, also called arachnophobia, really is. We can tell you it's not when someone thinks a spider is gross or maybe feels the hair on the back of their neck stand up when they are near one. No, this is a condition where a person will literally not continue on with something they were wanting or needing to do or when someone finds that they are physically or mentally debilitated because a spider is nearby. What are some of the symptoms? Well, arachnophobia can manifest as dizziness, sweating, trembling, chest pain, a feeling of choking, and even nausea. The causes of developing this phobia can stem from learning this kind of response from someone else with the phobia. For example, watching your mom run out of the house screaming her head off because she saw a spider in the bathroom, or even coming from a culture that shares a fear of spiders. Fun fact, sometimes your culture can help you not develop a fear. In a country like South Africa, for instance, spiders are eaten. So from a very early age, people learn not to fear these creatures. But a traumatic experience can also develop into a phobia. That nasty spider bite you got on a camping trip when you were seven can turn into full-fledged arachnophobia when you are older. But maybe now you are saying, uh, Brainiac, this doesn't sound like my situation at all, and I still have a fear of spiders. What gives? Well, maybe you still get the jitters because it has been proven that we humans have an innate fear response to these little guys. A study in Germany watched a group of six-month-old babies while they were sitting on their parents' laps and showed them pictures on a screen, pictures like flowers or fish. Then, in a separate experiment, the pictures were changed to spiders and snakes. The scientists kept a close eye on the infant's pupils to see if they showed a physical sign of the innate fear response we all have. And guess what? Those pictures of spiders did make the baby's pupils grow by quite a large amount, which meant that without even knowing what a spider was or what it could possibly do to them, they showed signs of fear. From an evolutionary standpoint, humans are wired to know that these are potentially dangerous creatures and that we should stay away. So, being scared of spiders is normal. But is the fear irrational? Believe it or not, the answer is yes. Only about 200 out of 40,000 spiders actually pose a threat. And in a year, in the United States, only about six people die from spider bites. To put that in perspective, 67 people die a year from bee stings. Guess more legs doesn't mean more deadly. Now we know what we are dealing with. So let's talk about how to deal with this fear that is not only common, but something we are programmed with. Firstly, watch videos like this. Yeah, that's right. Learn all you can about spiders. Read, watch, and absorb all you can. Knowledge is always power when it comes to a phobia. Second, remember some simple facts about spiders that will put their danger in perspective. Facts like even the infamous Black Widow and the Brown Recluse will only bite out of self-defense. They aren't out to get you. In many cases, they are more scared of you than you are of them. And finally, discuss your fear of spiders with your family or even a medical professional. There is therapy available for dealing with this condition, which can include meditation, relaxation techniques, and even exposure therapy. Just be sure to wash your hands afterwards. So, what can we take away from all this? If you ask us, we'd say that feeling uneasy around these critters is actually quite normal and even healthy. There's a reason that the climax of some of our favorite movies, including Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and It, all have a giant spider at the end. There's just something scary about them. But don't fret. You now have all the tools you need to overcome your fear. You got this, Brainiacs. Go turn that phobia into a nobia. That sounded so much better in my head.